during the first ever OpenAI's developers conference, they had some huge announcements. I think the two most prominent were the introduction of GPTs or agents and the release of a new GPT-4 turbo model with 128K context window. Now you can use GPT-4 with vision through the API, which is amazing. And we have already seen some really cool demos that people have built on top of it. I'm still waiting for my access to GPTs, but I wanted to show you some really cool demos that people have been able to put together using both the GPT-4 with Vision API as well as custom GPTs. So first I'll show you a few examples of some really cool projects that are being put together using the GPT-4 Vision API. And later I'll show you a few examples of really cool custom GPTs. The first video that we are going to be looking at is by Peter. So what he did was he used the GPT-4 Vision API to uh, do a screen capture uh, of this League of Legend games and then use uh, the text to speech converter from OpenAI to actually generate a commentary of the game that is going on. So let's have a listen. As we hit the 18 minute mark, T1 has a slight lead with a 3K gold advantage and one turret in their favor against LNG. The vision game around the mid lane is intensifying as LNG scout. And this is pretty cool because GPT-4 is able to not only understand what is happening in the game, but it's also able to provide a pretty good commentary. Now, this is not only limited to video games, but you can actually do this on real soccer as well. So here's a demo that was put together by Gonzalo. Oh, like a magician on the field, dodging one, two, three, unstoppable. Look at him, go. The crowd is roaring. Can you believe this? He's taken on the whole defense. He's a one-man show, ladies and gentlemen. He shoots. Goal! Messi, Messi, Messi! Unbelievable. What a goal. What a goal. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. The stadium explodes in joy. Okay, you can see um, it's actually able to recognize the action. Now, I think uh, probably uh, it would be better if we make it a bit more enthusiastic. But both the vision recognition using GPT-4 vision as well as the text-to-speech is working pretty great here. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to create a tutorial on how to do that on your own. Okay, so here we have yet another one. Uh, this is from a user called Robert. And this is pretty exciting and very different than what we have seen so far. So Robert put together a system that is reading everything on the browser. So you're simply selecting areas in the image or on the web page, and GPT-4 is able to recognize what that is. So for example, he is selecting spine section, and it's able to uh, determine that, right? It's able to read equations, tables, and so on and so forth. So all he's doing is reading or recording uh, a video of his uh, browser screen, sending it to GPT-4 with vision, and GPT-4 with vision is able to recognize everything that is happening on the screen so this is absolutely brilliant all right so here is yet another one this is called webcam gpt and this is developed by benjamin so basically uh, benjamin gave access uh, of the webcam to gpt4 with vision and now it's able to recognize whatever he's showing uh, there are a couple of demos that i saw where you can use this as a, a coach or trainer for your workouts so basically gpt4 can look at the video feed and then uh, determine whether you're performing a workout correctly or it can actually give you a recommendation on how to improve it as well. Okay, so here is actually an example of that. This uh, project is again from Roberts. So basically it's looking at different posture or yoga posture and then giving you feedback on what your form looks like. And now keep in mind, all this is happening within 24 hours of the release of gpt4 vision api i also wanted to show you uh, some example demos of custom gpts as you can see i don't really have access to it yet so i'm not able to create uh, one of my own uh, but gpt4 comes with a whole bunch of different custom gpts that i'm going to probably review in another video but i'll show you a few example demos or projects that uh, some users on x have put together the first one that i'm going to show you is from ethan he's a professor of computer science 
Now he put together a pretty nice blog post on what you can do with uh, GPTs or these agents. An example that he has presented in here is how to convert your data into a paper. Uh, so this is from his blog post. So what he did was he asked uh, the GPT builder uh, that can it write papers, right? Then the GPT builder is asking about the data set in the field, scope and guidelines, right? So here, Ethan provided a data set in a CSV format, and this is regarding nationalism and corruption data set, and the field is supposed to be economic psychology. Now, based on this data set, uh, the GPT builder is able to use both the code interpreter along with access to the internet to put together a pretty nice abstract introduction, a corresponding theory, and even analysis of the results uh, within the data set. So this is pretty huge. Now there are definitely some hallucination, but just to think about it, that you can build a tool like this, and then you can potentially use it to generate reports. It's pretty awesome. Now here's another project from Ravon. Uh, so what he did was he created what he's calling X optimizer GPT, and this is fine tuned on his posts. And uh, he's using this to figure out what are the optimum uh, times to post on x so that it can increase the engagement now i believe you're going to see a lot of tools like this coming up so essentially what he has done in here he actually downloaded all his previous analytics data from x and uploaded that he's enabling web browsing dali for image generation as well as code interpreter then he's creating a custom gpt that not only optimizes his posts but will also determine what is the best time to post this based on the historical data that he has given to the uh, code interpreter. I personally see some really huge business opportunities for something like this. Okay, here's a fun one from Brett. So he has combined the web browsing with uh, GPTs and he's asking uh, to browse the web to find this year's Coachella lineup and make a playlist of the highlights. So basically, this is a uh, gpt that he's calling a playlist ai spotify now since it has access to the internet so it can see what was the line of coachella and then based on those it can create a playlist in spotify of all the songs right so this is pretty neat as well now there are a couple of examples from nick dobos that i really like so for example in this case uh, he's using the custom gpts to create a baby agi gpt which is pretty awesome so there's a link and there's going to be a link to all these different demos in the description of the video uh, and i'm gonna uh, put this one specifically so i would really recommend everybody to check this out all you need to do is just provide the task that you want to do and just like baby agi uh, it will create uh, the task list for you right and you can give it different commands to execute it so it is pretty awesome there is a link to that uh, specific GPT in here. So I'm going to put this in the description. Now, along with the GPT-4 Vision API and uh, custom GPTs, OpenAI also released the uh, OpenAI API Assistant. So here's a demo using the uh, API Assistant. This was put together by Mayo. Now, in this demo, he's creating a system that will score candidate uh, resumes based on the job description. Now you can simply provide the job description as well as a candidate's resume. And this specific API uh, assistant figures out uh, which one is the most relevant resume or most relevant candidate for a specific job description. Right? So it's just an example of uh, a use case that you can develop on top of the uh, GPT-4 API. So these were some of the cool demos that I found on X. I hope you found them useful. I'm going to be creating some videos on reproducing some of these demos. So make sure that you look out for those tutorials. I hope you found this video useful. Consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.